hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Apologies as part of the way through recording the previous episode, or this one that we're about to go through right now, the computer crashed and I lost everything that we'd done up to the point where that finished. So we're going to have to retread through it and hopefully I can remember where all of the shiny loot items were as we went through. So, uh, first things first, you're going to want to uh, speak to this guy and tell him that you're going to go to the left. He also becomes a merchant for us. Uh, gives you access to some uh, basic gear here, basically the bandit stuff. Kind of nice that you can get some feathers if you want them. But nothing particularly amazing that we are going to be needing. Also, make sure you've unequipped Margaret's Shackle. We're not going to be needing that anymore. I need to actually do something with this at some point. And we can be on our merry way. Now, we're going to come across this way. I think there's a loot piece around here. Yeah, there's a body right there, look. You know, it's like, my, my spider sense is just going to have to tingle as we go around. Um, next up then, you're going to come down here for what I think are some bolts on this guy and a our first encounter with the birds, which honestly are a pain in the ass. Uh, I feel like physical builds are going to have more of an advantage here because you will have uh, the bow. And that just has more stagger damage than the spells. Yep, just another one above. Just be, you need to be mega aggressive with them. Uh, if you let more than one of them start circling you, that is where you're going to start having problems. So you've got to be quick when it comes to dealing with them. They are a real issue. Uh, this is where you're probably going to get the the most trouble from them because you've got two in the uh, two in the bird, two in the tree, should I say, and one on the ground. So you're going to want to get rid of this one as quick as you can before they start setting off at us. Come on. Now, once it's just one, they're not so bad in melee. If you can get an R2 uh, counter-attack on them, it'll stagger. Let's, let's try and use this one. Hopefully, I won't die. You can get an R2 stagger on them, and that'll put them on the ground. But you really can't um, capitalize on that very well if there are multiples of them around. Uh, there'll be loot here as well. I can't remember what it was, but there'll be loot here. And then we can make our way up to the site of grace. Now, if you're not bothered about any of the loot that you have around here, I'm sorry I couldn't really show it. Um, it's not exactly essential. You can just pass over this way, but there is just another bird up on there. You thought you were safe, didn't you? Ah, oh, let's change your weapon. <laughs> Come here. It's such a pain. They're just so fucking annoying. I shouldn't have saw that. That was real bad. Sorry about that. Now. See, they can just be mega annoying. Be careful of them. Um, for the most part, when we're coming around this area, we are going to get to surprise them anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Next area, then, you want to drop into your sneak mode, and we're going to start walking on up. You can see that guy over there. He's looking this way, but he will uh, turn around. Now, you want to be in sneak mode, and then basically sprint up here as fast as you can, as he is going to turn back around very quickly. And we want to be straight on him with damage before he can sound his horn. Otherwise, you're going to have um, both of these enemies join him in attacking you on these rather narrow um, pathways. And you don't want that. Good thing is I've got some of their, loot, some of their gear dropping from now, which is nice. Uh, deal with those guys there. And then you want to come here. You want to be um, kneeling down again so we can see this guy. You get this, this loot. Check to see if your dude's dropped anything. Quite like their armor set, so I might change some of the, some of their parts on. And we've got two, two guys just here. I obviously could be using mana to kill these right now, but there's a couple of tough enemies we want to reserve that for. Down here, you're gonna have big axe guy. And then on the left in the corner will be the claws. So now that we don't have to bother with any of that stuff, we can start heading up to the top. This is probably where I'm going to forget something now that I can't see all of the... Um, all of the stuff. Craft yourself a fire pot here. Um, I feel like it's the best way to deal with these. Give yourself a free aim into there like that. 
That's going to annoy them. They're going to start uh, throwing fire pots at us now because they wanted to do that to you. But uh, we ain't having that. That's where Axe Boy was. We're going to go up this way. This won't be open for you on the way round. Be loot here. So you're going to come up this way. You're going to see that there is loot right there where those barrels are. We're not grabbing that right there. We're going to come up this way instead. Loot on this corpse. Two spells on you. I'm going to take that off there because I don't need it anymore. I need to get more crack pots. Maybe with the extra souls we get from this. I mean, ru runes, damn it, runes. We'll go and uh, go and buy a few. You, you get three quite cheap from the very first merchant, so... Really, there's no reason not to be running around with four of them at this point. But I'm feeling cheated. Well, not cheated, but I want to get my uh, 16k souls back that I spent on spent on upgrading um, my summon. Anyways, we're gonna get this guy, which was the guy we could see. Oh wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> I will eventually get a decent weapon. I promise. Uh, so you can go through there however you want, you can roll through those, grab the loot now if you wish to. And then we are going this way. Get this guy. This door won't be open at the time. We're going to go past. Oh, where are you? There are you. Is there something over this way? I can't remember now. I feel like there was loot over in this corner. I can't remember. Without, without the lights showing me, um, it's really not helping me very well. You'll come in here, and Patches is going to lock you in. He'll have a big old royal laugh, and this guy's going to instantly aggro on you, much like he is now. He's not so bad, as long as you have a decent amount of stamina and a shield that does 100% block. It's quite backstabbable, um, and this is going to be the main way that we take care of this particular version of these knights. There is a halberd version that is much worse. But this guy, uh, we're basically just going to circle him around, which is why um, having an, a 100% a, a block shield is so important, right? When there's when there's some enemies like this, where you know his his shield is up and he's going to seriously um, mess you up if you try just using spells on him, not going to work out all that well. I'm going to do a charge up here. Come on. Almost there, sir. Almost there. Now, if you have to have a bigger weapon, you could probably... No, no. Deal with it. You could probably um, do the R2 counter and be able to uh, to knock him down. But in our lightened state, it's not really going to be all that great. Let's put some light on here. Should have loot in this corner. And then you'll have um, something in the chest. I can't remember what it was. I'm sorry. Oh, it'll be the key. It'll be the key in the chest. That's what we're in here for. From there, then, we're going to go back down the stairs. To the the place that I... I don't know why I think it's a prison. It's not a prison. Who is throwing that? I can't remember. Something's aggroed on me that I don't think normally aggroes on me. It'll be fine. So we're going to go through this way now. the ladder. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me again. I don't want to like be restarting and I was like, why have you got a million more rooms? And I'm like, I'm sorry, the computer broke. Right, so out here we're going to turn right back into uh, serious mode now that we have stuff to talk about. Let's go behind. It's you that's throwing stuff at me. Why did you aggro? You don't normally aggro. I shouldn't really be throwing all these extra spells out. I don't need to. You know, that just doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, I've, 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 I think I've only just noticed that statue. Uh, loot over this way. And then running jump for this, which is always uncomfortable. Multiple enemies here, so you want to deal with this guy kind of quickly. As he'll have an archer friend that comes behind him, and you really don't want to be messing around on this ledge. We can actually do the R2 count on this. Shield 1 is not so easy for this guy. Not so bad. Uh, 
nothing else around this way. This should be the brick hammer. Collapse short term memory. Right. And then we want to go back to the door we opened. There's going to be an item that's probably bugging you. I think it's here. Not here. Where is it? There will be an item that's bugging you on a, on a hole like this. Don't worry about it. We're going to be dropping down for that later. Should be this video, actually. Now that I think about it. Should be shortly. How much souls do I need for level? Seven. Ooh, we might get it. I really need just more. Uh, careful here. We're going to have a guy that comes out and wants to grab you. Don't let him do it. Come on, you. <laughs> For that push, <laughs> you're going to get a knife to the chest. Up this way. It's kind of weird that it's like, oh, he gets you from behind. And now it's like, how do you like it to this boy? -o? May have already seen it, but there's loot over around this way on that guy. I think it's just mushrooms. And then we get to go up here on the left. And I think it's some kind of upgrade stone over this way. And then... Um, depending on where this guy is in his patrol route... It's coming over this way. This guy's particularly mean. The halberd guys are an absolute nightmare. So try not to ag uh, aggro him just yet, because we're going to drop off here. And come around this way. We'll drop off here. Which is the loot that I was talking about, that we we're going to come back for. For Arteria Leaf. I believe it's called Arteria Leaf. I nearly missed that ledge then. <coughs> and then we can head back upstairs. And you can either face the halberdier straight away, or you can do what I'm going to do, and we're going to run straight past the guy for the Sight of Grace, because I think that's a better idea. We'll unlock the Sight of Grace, and then we'll go fight him, because, well, I don't know why you would want to reset all of this, when literally up those stairs there is the next Sight of Grace. So let's just go up this way. If we can not aggro him, that's going to be advantageous. And then we're home free. And the left side here for... Sight of Lost Grace, and now we've caught up to where I was. Provided the PC doesn't crash again. Because <laughs> we can't recover MP4s, and that's just the easiest way for me to record. So... Next to them, I'm going to head up the stairs. Uh, maybe we should choke in the hub, yeah. I'm going to up there. I'm going to try and get a backstab on the guy, although it's going to turn around real quick. It's hilarious how much you can sneak on these guys. Imagine when we get, like, an uh, obscured body. So we're going to start with that, and then we're going to be like, Hey, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Like, be careful of that. Like, if it hits you, I like, part of the way through it, it can just, like, do, like, a dive attack at you. And, like, so much. It's just bullshit. <laughs> there are so many bad words I can say about this guy. He is annoying, and there are more of them. So just be careful. It doesn't usually go that well for me. So with our point that we can put in, I am going to put it into... Endurance is actually pretty fine so far, so we're going to go with Intelligence. Let's start raising that damage bar. So from here then, all sorts of places that we can go. Uh, we have birds over that way, if you feel like it. These ones are different, so these ones carry, as you can see, their uh, claws are in those bombs just there, and they're going to try and bomb you before they actually attack you. If you look over this way, you can actually get over here and you can jump over onto that bit. There's so many intricate parts of this and I am absolutely um, intimidated by hopefully we don't miss anything basically. I'm pretty sure we've got everything. I'm positive we're going to get every important item in here so bear with me. For now though we're going to head up the stairs. We've got some stuff up this way to get so we are going to take care of you. There's an archer across on my side right now so we really need to be uh, either moving or drag him into the uh, into the corridor. One well, into the corridor. Perfect. Now I can look at it this way. 
this is where I'm likely to get a death. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump onto the middle. Basically, if we walk at it, not not sprint, but like, I guess this would be the jog. If we jog at it and jump, we should hit the middle, and then we can jump over for the loot on the side. It's not amazing loot. Don't feel bad if you decide you don't want to get it, because this is just craziness. We shouldn't be platforming like this in Souls games. Um, I mean, maybe we should, but still. There we go. Some extra throne daggers just for you. And then we can continue on our merry way. So next then we are going to go around the corridor. This, both sides are basically the same. I don't feel the need to show you both sides, so we won't. We're going to come into a little, um, I guess you call it like a rooftop. Got a dude over there on the side. He's not going to aggro straight away. The most dangerous person is just there. He's got a horn and he's going to aggro everything around here. So use a bow or whatever it is you have to do to stop him from sounding that, because otherwise you're just going to have a bad time. You're then going to get attacked by this guy if um, he does sound that horn. As well as everything else that you just saw. So you'd have this guy here on the front. You've got these two just there. Let's get some arc on you, because I bet we should be able to hit both of those. This guy over here, who we're going to try and save some FP fighting by our one spamming. So yeah, just be... Just be mindful of that. Now, realistically speaking, once we've gotten these first few pieces of loot, you shouldn't have to come back up here because the shortcut that I just showed you will take you back down to uh, the rooftop over that way. We should be able to see that there are... Where are we? Can we see it from here? There's an upgrade zone on this tower. But we're going to get that in a little bit. Instead, we're going to come across this way. So you can jump onto here from like a few different bits, but the easiest way i found is from the sandbags. You kind of just want to walk up on. It's up to you if you want to go ahead and jump for it. But um, I fell off a couple of times, embarrassingly. So try not to do that. I don't think there's anything around the back end of this. I'm just going to double check. No. So we want to go this way for the broken tower, which is going to have a stone key. Just over. Yeah. I can't remember if there's loot around there now. I don't think there is. But I really want to check. It's real precarious, but... <laughs> I just had to check. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I was like, I don't remember picking anything up around there. Maybe that means there's something there. No, there's not. So we're coming into here. Drop off. This actually gives, an, it gives us a bit of an advantage against another enemy, which is this thing. Where are you? So we're going to lock on. Especially if you have Rock Sling, we're going to be able to, like... Oh, come on. Lock on. Send them down at it. That. This thing is an absolute pain in the ass to face uh, because it is like it's got flamethrower moves and all sorts of crap. Um, but it doesn't like coming all the way up here, so much to my advantage, we are going to uh, see that it isn't as much of a problem. If I remember rightly, this one's a gesture. Yes, Dirt and Cross Legged. And then we have a multitude of options open to us. We're going to take a few of them. Right now, because obviously you can go along the top of there, look, as you can see, which we're going to do in a second. But first, we're going to go... I remember the first shortcut that I said, so if you, like, die anywhere, you don't have to come back across all of this. You can just jump off there. We're going to jump at this corner. Come here. Jump at the corner, please. Is it a running jump? Maybe it is. It's always really nerve-wracking. I don't think that's a death. It's just rats, but... I want this. This is what I want. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. I want to get some upgrade mats. I'm sure it's a smithing stone. It is. Can't believe I'm running around with a basic short sword. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are using something cooler than me. But, um, I mean, I suppose I haven't, like, showcased a ton of different weapons. Maybe just stuff. But here we are, with the most basic of basic weapons, running around in Stormvale Castle. I'm going to platform my way up to here. Uh, the cool thing is that shouldn't aggro on you unless you attack it or something from there, so we can kind of come around here with Abandon. And of course you could go right, right around there, just below look, if you wanted. I just wanted to show off and come up this way first. So we're going to deal with you from here. 
because they are these up here. So many. This is one of the reasons why uh, magic builds have a problem because you're going to really run out of um, magic quite often. And even the uh, the talisman that gives you extra FP is not very strong. <laughs> it's not even 10%. Right, up we go. Load of eagles up here, so if you're quick, you can uh, take them out. Such a long climb. <laughs> oh, talisman. <gasps> You can make it to the other side, but I don't think there's anything over there, so we're just going to do this. Just to make it half worth it. And then, from here then, we can head back down. So you're going to come to the middle. And then it doesn't really matter which side you choose. And that pretty much clears the rooftop. I guess you'd say. So I am going to, basically because it'll restore my uh, mana flask, we're going to fast travel back to the Rampart Tower from here. In the next episode then, we are going to start clearing this out properly. We've got all of the kind of most immediate optional parts. There are a ton of places that you can go. You can literally, like from where we were, you can drop all the way down to the bottom to where those rats were and unlock a shortcut if you really wish to. Um, but yeah, for now, that is part one of Stormvale Castle complete, and we'll be continuing again shortly.